Pete. Yeah? I love you. Well. <laughs> I love you too. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 are you cold? Do no, you no, no. Inside? I just want to sit. Like this. Close. I feel so close to you tonight. It's nice being close to you. It's safe. I like being close. Like this. I mean, I can think of other ways of being close to you, but that's not, that's not. I like this kind of close, right next to you. <laughs> you know, right now, I think I'm about as close to you as I possibly can be. Well, you know, not really. What? Not really. I mean, if you think about it in a different way, you know, not really close to me at all. You know, you're actually about as far away from me as you could possibly be. See, if you think about it technically, if you're assuming the world is round like a ball, like a snowball, the farther you can be from someone if you're sitting right next to them. You know, see, if I'm here and I'm and you're here, then yeah, you know, that's far. Yeah. Oh, but now, now you're closer. <laughs> and closer. 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 Hello? Hello. I thought I saw someone. I was about to go to bed when I saw you from my window. Can I? Is there something I can do for you? Oh, no. I'm just here to see the northern lights. <laughs> OK. OK. It's just, it's awful late. And you're in my yard. <laughs> oh! I hope you don't mind. I'll only be here tonight. Well, I'll see them tonight. The Northern Lights. And then I'll be gone. I hope you don't mind. Is that your tent? <coughs> yes. You pitched a tent. So I have a place in my yard. Them. I hope you don't mind. Well, it's not do you that mind? I. Well, I don't know. Oh, it. No, I think you mind. No, it's not that I mind. No, you do. You do. I'm so sorry. I didn't think you would mind. I didn't think. You see, it says in your brochure that people from Maine wouldn't mind. It says that people from Maine are different, and that in the tradition of their brethren in rural northern climates like Scandinavia, they'll let people who are complete strangers, like cross country skiers and bikers and hikers, camp out in their yard if they need to. They'll just let you. I'm a hiker. Is it true? Well, Would you let someone from the British community camp out? Because I need to camp out. Because I'm where I need to be. I've never traveled this far before. I'm from a part of the country that's a little closer to things. I've never been this far north before, or east. And did you know that Maine is the only state in the entire country that's attached to only one other state? Um, it is. It feels like the end of the world. And 
here I am at the end of the world. And I have nowhere to go, so I was counting on staying here, unless it's not true. I mean, is it true? Well, could you let someone who's where she needs to be check out? Well, it's... Well, I don't know. If a person really... I need to. If a person really needed to, oh. sure, but... Thank you. Oh, um, I need that. Oh, um, thank you. Sure. Okay. Okay. So, you're just here to see the Northern Lights? Yeah, just tonight. Well, you know, you might not see them tonight, because you never really know oh, it. no. I'll see them. Because I'm in a good place. Your latitude's good. And it's the right time. Solar activity is at an 11-year peak. Everything's in order. And, boy, you have the sky for it. There's lots of sky here. It used to be a potato farm. I was gonna say, there's no trees in the way. And it's flat. Makes for a big sky. Yeah. So, you're a farmer. Uh, no, it used to be a farm. I'm a repairman. Oh. Fix things. Oh. <laughs> what? You're not a lobster man. Um, no. I guess I thought that everyone from Maine was a lobster man and talked in that funny way they do in Maine, and you don't talk that way. Nope, you're not down east, you're up north. And this is how we talk up north, pretty much. Huh. Plus, the ocean's a couple hundred miles away. It'd be an awful long ride to work if I were a lobster man. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you. Thank you for letting me stay here. I've had about enough time of things lately not to be given a bad time here, and I just, I need to... Oh! Um! Oh! Um! Oh boy! Um! I'm sorry! I just... I think I love you. Really? <laughs> yeah. I saw you from my window, and... I love you. Well, that's... Really nice. But there's something you should know. I'm not here for oh, that. Oh, no, I didn't think you were. I'm here to pay my respects to my husband. Oh, yeah. My husband, Wes, as he died recently, on Tuesday, actually. <laughs> and the Northern Lights, did you know this? The Northern Lights are really the torches that the recently departed carry with them to find their way home to heaven. And it takes its soul three days to find its way home to heaven. And today's Friday. It's the third day. So, you see, I will see them because they're him. He'll be carrying one of the torches. And I just wanted to come here and say goodbye to him and not be bothered. But what you just did there a second ago, that bothered me, <laughs> I think. And so, I'm just gonna go and find another yard, I No, think. no, I'm sorry, I, I no, shouldn't no, have done that, I'm sorry. Go. No, I really don't know what happened. Well, I do, I know what happened. I'm not the kind of person who just does things like that. But please, don't go. Just do what you need to do, and I won't bother you. Maybe just consider what I did a warm main welcome? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm... My name is Lori. I'm East. Huh? For Easton. It's a town, a little ways that way, where I was born. Mess up on the birth certificate. A son, Easton, born on the 31st day of January, 1996, in the town of Mateo, Maine. In, instead <laughs> of the other way around. I'm sorry. Nah. So, Easton. Yeah? Yeah. I think I passed by near there on my way here, and by the way, where is here? Where am I? I, I couldn't find it on my map. Um, almost. What? You're in unorganized territory. Township 13, range 7. It's not going to be on your map. 
Because it's not an actual town, technically. What do you mean? See, to be a town, you've got to get organized. And we never got around to getting organized. So we're just almost. <laughs> huh. Oh. Um. What's wrong? Um, my heart. What? Are you okay? My heart. You have my heart. I. It's in the bag. Please, I need it. It's uh, my heart. Please. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry. Did you just say that your heart is in that bag? Is that what you just said? That your heart? Yes. It's heavy. Yes. Why is it in that bag? Because it's broken. Why? Wes broke it. Uh, what happened? Well, you see, he left me. Oh. For someone else. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. And when he did that, it felt like my heart would break. And that's exactly what happened. Hard enough and cracked in two. It hurt so bad I had to go to the hospital. And when I got there, they said they were going to have to take it out. And when they took it out, they dropped it on the floor. And it broke into 19 pieces. Slate. It turned into slate. Great for roofing. <laughs> Wait a second. How do you breathe? If your heart is in that bag, how are you alive? Artificial. Really? Yeah. Because my real one's broken. Well, then why do you carry it around with you? It's my heart. But it's broken. Yeah. Because your husband left you. Yeah. Well, why are you paying respects to him if he left you? Because that's what you do when a person dies. You pay them respects. But he left you. Yeah, I and know. And it seems to me that a man who leaves somebody doesn't deserve any respect. Well, I, just, I didn't leave him go. What do you mean? And I need to apologize. Why should you apologize? Because. Because why? Because I killed him. And I'd like to apologize. You see, I was in recovery from having my heart taken out, and he came and visited me and said he wanted me back. I was almost better. I was about to go home, too. So I said, Wes, I'm sorry, but I have a new heart now. It doesn't want you back. And that just killed him. Oh, but you didn't kill him. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. You see, he was so sad that my new heart didn't want him back that he just tore out of the hospital. And there was an ambulance that was coming back from an emergency that didn't see him. And it just took him out right there. And if I'd been able to take him back, he wouldn't have been taken out. Boy. And I just need to say goodbye to him in my own way and not as his sad ex-wife at some funeral service. And I just, he wouldn't be. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm so sorry I did that. Don't be. I love you. What? No. Yes. Well, don't. Why? Because I won't be able to love you back. I have a heart that can pump my blood, and that's it. The one that does everything else is broken. Please, let me have this. No, it's mine. I can fix it. I don't know if I want you to. Please, please, please give it back to me. But it's broken. What are you going to do with please, it like this? It's my heart. I need it. It's no good like this. But it's my heart, please. Yes, it is. And I believe I have it. And I can fix it. I'm a repairman. I repair things. It's what I do. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, Wes. Goodbye, Wes. I'm so sorry. Goodbye, Wes.
Sandrine? Jimmy! Hey! Hey! hey. 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 Oh, come in. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey. hey. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. Great. How great. are you? Great. Great. How are you? Great, great. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. You look great. Oh, no, I'm not. You look great. Thanks. You do. Thanks. You look so great. Thanks. So pretty. So pretty. Thanks. Oh, here, have a seat. Oh, no, I, I can't. I'm just getting Aw, oh, come on. I haven't seen you in, well, months. And months and months and months and months and months and months and months. How does that happen? Live in the same town as someone and you never see them? I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen you since that night before the morning when I woke up and you were just gone. Yeah, I, I, here, here's the thing to me. I, well, look at you two over here in the corner. Look, I found you. Is the man and his lovely lady ready for another round? Sure. No, well, we're not together. Well, we all set. Don't... All set. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Okay. Well, holler if you need anything. Thanks. No, really. You gotta holler. It's busy up front. Okay. 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 So, uh, you here with anybody? Yeah. Or... Uh, the girls. Uh, the girls' night. We're in the front. Actually. I was sitting back for that, so I really should Ah, be. but they'll survive without you for a minute or two. What's been going on? What you been up to? Well, actually, did you Did you hear, hear that I took over my dad's business? Oh, yeah, that's great. I run it now. I heard that. I'm running it. I heard that. Running the business. Running the whole show. The whole shebang. Thanks. Yeah. We still do heating and cooling. Oh. But we've expanded, too. We do rubs now, and we shampoo them. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. I'm gonna call up weekends, holidays, you name it, because, you know, your heat goes, people die. It's serious. Yeah. Yeah, like I do Thanksgiving, <laughs> Christmas, because I let the guys who work for me, like East, helps with repair sometimes. I let them have the day off so they can be with their family since I'm all alone this year. Oh. Yeah, um, I don't really have anybody anymore, really. Um, my brother and sister got canned, so right. they left town. And mom and dad retired, headed south. I heard that. Vermont. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The winters are a lot easier there. Yeah. And I don't know if you heard or not, but then Spot went and died on me. Oh, Jimmy, I didn't know that. It, it's okay. He, he was old. It was his time. He was a good fish, though. <laughs> uh, but, like I said, I don't really have anybody anymore, really. Um, so, I, I was wondering, maybe, if you would like to come over? It'd be fun. We could hang out, catch up. Yeah, Jimmy, about that. I really... And I, I really forgot like to it. tell you. Friday night special at the Moose Patty. Drink free if you're sad. So, if you're sad, or if you two little lovebirds want another couple of bucks or something, you just let me know, all right? No, we're okay. not. Okay. Okay. So what do you say? Want to come over for fun? No, Jimmy, I can't. I can't. I really gotta get back with the girls. Uh, no, but... Yeah, Jimmy, yeah, I bought it, because... <sighs> See here. There's a guy, Jimmy. I got a guy. Oh. Uh, well, good for you. Getting yourself out there again. Moving on. Yeah, well, actually, Jimmy, this is a little more than me getting myself out there and moving on. Um, this is my bachelorette party. I'm getting married. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's... 
I, I thought you said you weren't gonna do that. Get married. It wasn't for you. You told me. I guess it just wasn't for you with me. So, who's the lucky guy? Um, Martin Ferrier, you know him? The yeah, uh, the ranger guy over in Ashland? Yeah. Wow. He's a legend. Legendary. I mean, if you're lost in the mountain in Maine, he's the guy you want looking for you. Yeah. I mean, if you're lost out there in this big, bad northern world, Martin Laferriere is the guy you want to have go out there and find you. Yeah. And then, I guess he found you. Yeah. I'm sorry he never told you. I mean, I, I thought you would have known. I, I thought you would have heard. How would I have heard? I don't know. People talk. Uh, not about things they know you don't want to hear. I'm gonna be honest, that's not really something I wanted to hear. So, when's the big event? Um, tomorrow. Really? Yep. Well then. Hey! Penny, what are you doing? I'm getting our waitress. She said to holler, hey! What's her name? I don't know, she must be new here. Hello! Jimmy, what are you doing? We gotta celebrate. You got found, and you deserve it. She, he's quite a guy. Oh, and you are too. Quite a girl. Woman? Woman. Hey! Hey, Jimmy, what's that? Nothing. Tattoo. Hey! What? Tattoo. Hey! Uh, Jimmy, when did you get that? Um, after you left. Well, what's it up? What's it say? Nothing. Nothing. Hey! Villian. Villain. Who's villain? Vi it, villain. It's supposed to say villain. What? It's supposed to say villain. Well, it doesn't say villain. It says villain. I know. I spelt it wrong. What? They spelled it wrong. <laughs> it says villain, but it's supposed to say villain. Well, why is it supposed to say villain? Why would you want a tattoo that says villain? Cause. Cause why? Just cause. Just cause why, Jimmy? Just cause. When a guy's got a girl like you, well. I think losing a girl like you, driving a girl like you away, you didn't drive me away. it's just plain I... criminal. It's criminal. It's villainy. And it should be punished. So I punish myself by marking myself a villain so girls would know to stay away from me and I would never have to go through what I went through with you again. Can I kiss you? <laughs> no. no. Jimmy. Sorry. You can get that removed, you know. Yeah. I got it then. Yeah. Hey, uh... I'm glad you got found. Thanks, Jimmy. Hey, sorry. You were waving me down. I saw you, but it's so busy up front. There's this bachelorette party. Those girls. Thank God it's not drink free if you're glad, cause those girls were wicked glad. Gosh, I had to fight my way through to find you, but I did it. I found you. So what can I do you for, another bud? Um, I'm okay. I'm good, thank you. Oh. Found me. Aww. 
I'm glad you found me. That's adorable. Okay, we're getting close, come on. Almost there. Oh, oh, yes! Fire! Oh man, I'm gonna do that so fast. So consistent. Magic. Well, you are pretty magical. Come on, Case. What? Don't. What? Be weird. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's just, are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, one day I'm going to beat you, you know. Doubt it. No, I'm better at keeping it going. I'm a better tender. True. <coughs> Pyro. Shruggy lately and mopey. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. It's just, did I do something? No. Are you sure? Yeah, it's not you. Okay. Or maybe it is you. Okay, what? Just. Did you know that some people have been asking if we're dating or together or whatever? No. Well, they have been. Well, not surprising, I guess. I guess not, but we're just friends, right? Yeah. I mean, you're my best friend. Yeah. And have been for like, since forever. Yeah. But I may have told people who are asking if we were dating or together or whatever that we are dating or together or whatever. Okay, well, that's okay. I mean, I didn't want to put a label on it because labels are limiting, but if you think we're together or whatever, then... I don't. What? I don't think we're together. Oh. I mean, part of me, maybe, wants us to be, but part of me also doesn't want us to be. And I think that's because we can't be together. And I'm sorry I said we were to the people who asked, and I just wanted to let you know that we will never be together. Well, never say never. No, never. We never will be. Well, we don't have to be anything other than what we are. That's okay with me, but why say we'll never be together? Why just limit the possibilities like that? Because, okay. What? Because I don't know what I am. What? I don't know what I am. Okay, well, I think knowing what you are is kind of like a lifelong process. No. It's kind of like a forever type thing. No, Casey, I didn't say who, I said what. I don't know what I am. 
Why don't you let me tell you what I think you are? No, Casey. No, just listen to this. I think you're going to like it. So what I read is that what people say about us is what we are. Perception is a reality type thing. And what I think you are is the most amazing person I've ever met. And if people think you're my girl, then I... I'm not your girl, Casey. But I wouldn't mind if you were. I'm not a girl, Casey. What? I don't know if I'm a girl. What? Casey, don't make me say it again. Okay, it's just... Is this just something you're figuring out, or...? No, I, I haven't thought I was for a while. And I've just been thinking about it, like, forever. I always felt like a boy when I was younger. Thought I was. Wanted to be a boy. Wish, prayed I'd wake up as one. And I just wish and pray I could be happy with what I am as a girl. And I guess that wish came true, and I started to feel like a girl again for a while. But now I don't again. And I think I'm a boy again. I might want to change. OK. But I also might not be a boy. I just kind of want to be what I am, in the middle, you know? I don't know. OK, well. You're still my friend, my best friend, and I love you, whatever you are, whatever we are. Let's have some marshmallows. Just, is that all you have to say? Yeah. Is there more you want me to say? No. Do you have more you want to say? No. Well, okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I just thought telling you. It's going to be harder than it was. Why? I don't know. I thought you'd get mad or go away. And you didn't get mad. And you didn't go away. I'm not going anywhere. I know. I'm right here. Yeah, you're right here. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. It's just... I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm crying. I've heard people say they're so happy they can cry, and I've never understood it. But now I do. I'm crying because I'm happy. That's so weird. Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah. It's just like I have all these like fireflies or light inside me or something or like my organs, they're like shifting or something and Oh my god. Sam! Sam! Oh my god! Oh! Oh. Sam, what happened? I felt like I was gonna burst, and I definitely did. Yeah, you did. Was it the marshmallow? No, I just reconfigured, I guess. How? I don't know, but I feel better than ever. Sam! Sam! Oh my god! Oh my god! Sam! Sam! <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy, I, I, I felt like I was gonna die. And I think I did for a second. Sam, you are freaking me out here. I'm not trying to. I was just so happy. Uppies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pace. For what? For just being there. For being you. For listening. Those things aren't very hard to do. I don't know. I think they are for a lot of people. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, it's just like I've been carrying around this big, heavy thing in me, or on me, and I'm not carrying it anymore. Why does growing up make me feel so heavy? I don't know. I like the light. Oh my gosh, Case, look. Whoa. You were right. Wow. You know, that's what I feel like. That's what
what it feels like inside of me. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Just. I love you, Case. I love you too. Really? Yeah. But are we going to be able to keep loving each other if I don't know what I am? We're doing it right now, aren't we? But will we be able to keep doing it? Who knows if two people will be able to keep loving each other. Any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get you some ice. No, I can't feel things like that. Like what? Like when I get smashed in the head with an ironing board. I don't get hurt. What? I can't feel pain. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. What the hell have I done to you? Nothing. Listen, you're talking loopy. Going on about not being able to feel pain? That's delusional. I've knocked the sense right out of you. No, I'm okay. Shh. I was going to be a nurse, so I know. <laughs> you just took a good shot right to the head, and that's serious. No, it's not serious. See, ironing boards aren't on my list of things that can hurt you. Mm -hmm. Plus, there was no blood or discoloration from where I got hit, so... Well, you can be hurt and not be bruised or bleeding. And my list is pretty reliable. My brother Paul's helping me make it, and I can prove it to you. See, I bet if I took this iron board, like this, and hit you on the head with it, wait, that it wouldn't hurt. See, that didn't hurt. Oh, Stop. I'm sorry. Ow, what the hell was that? Why did, did you hurt? do that? Oh, Ow. It did, didn't it? God. I didn't think it would, because, uh, see, iron boards aren't on my list of things that can hurt you, but gosh, maybe they should be on my list, what because. What are you talking about? I have a list of things that can hurt you and ironing boards aren't on it. Well, that ironing board hurt me? Yeah. So, you should add it to your list. Yeah. Should I be afraid of ironing boards? Well, if someone swings it at your head and walks you with it, then yes. Well, it's not... 
I have a list of things to be afraid of, too. And army words aren't on this list, either. Well, they shouldn't be, really. No? No, you shouldn't be afraid of army words. No? No. But they can hurt you. Yeah. So I should be afraid of them. No. So I shouldn't be afraid of them? Right. But they can hurt me. Well, if they're used in the way you use it, then yeah. Oh! So they're kind of like the opposite of God. <laughs> what? Well, army words can hurt me, but I shouldn't be afraid of them. But God, my brother Paul says, God won't hurt me, but I should fear him. <laughs> yes. Boy, this is getting very complicated. What is? The business of learning what hurts, what doesn't hurt, what to be afraid of, and what not to be afraid of. Are you sure you're feeling it right? You're just oh, yeah, yeah. See, I have congenital analgesia, he thinks. What? Some people. Oh, congenital analgesia? Who thinks? My brother Paul. Some people call it hereditary sensory neuropathy type 4, but it just means I can't feel pain. Okay. Um, you can hit me if you want to, to see. No. Go ahead, it won't hurt. See? Ow! See? Ow! See? Ow! See? Ow! See? Ow! See? Ow! See? Go ahead, come on. No! Come on! No! Come on! No! Okay. You don't have to. Uh, most people don't hit me. Most people just uh, go away. You can go away too if you, if you want to. That's what people do when I uh, tell them about myself. My brother Paul says I just shouldn't tell people about myself because I scare them. So I've actually recently put myself on my list of things to be afraid of. <laughs> but, um, you hit me! Oh God, Most people go away, oh, but so you hit me! I have a secret. Are you alright? Oh yeah, I can't feel pain. Right, you can't feel pain. How do you find it? Are you sure? Is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. Well, but you can be hurt and not even look it. But... Trust me. There are things that hurt you and make you bruised and bloody. And there are things that hurt you that don't make you bruised and bloody. And they all hurt. I'm Steve. I live on the third floor, room 11. I live with my boyfriend, Eric. I love him very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw you move in. Oh, yeah. Our roof collapsed from all the snow in December. We're just here until we can get our feet back on the ground. Oh, well, that's good, because that's what Mama Odie says her boarding house is, a place where people can stay until they can get their feet back on the ground. My brother Paul says we've been trying to get our feet back on the ground our whole lives. Oh. Yeah, it takes some people longer to do that than others. Yeah. You guys are loud. Mm -hmm. You and Eric, you yell and bang, we're right below you. Oh, I'm um, sorry about that. We're going through a bit of a rough patch. Happens. Sorry. What's it like? What? To not feel pain. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to hurt, so I don't know. I don't really feel. Is this how you were born? Oh yeah, I don't have fully developed pain sensors. They're immature, my brother Paul says. And because they're immature, my development as a human being- How does he know that? Oh, he reads. But and because they're immature, my development as a human being has been stunted, he says. But he teaches me what hurts, though. Why? So I won't ruin myself. I have to know what hurts, so I know when to be afraid. See, my mind can't tell me when to be afraid because my body doesn't know what it's like to hurt. So I have to memorize what might hurt. And I have to memorize things to be afraid of. Things like bears and guns and knives and five minute crafts and fire and fear. I should fear fear itself. And um, pretty girls. <gasps> pretty girls? Yeah. Why should you be afraid of pretty girls? Well, because my brother Paul says that they hurt you because they make you fall in love with it. What? And that's something I should be afraid of, too. Love. But Paul says that I'm really lucky because I'll probably never have to deal with love because I have a lot of deficiencies and not very many capacities as a result of my congenital analgesia. What does he mean you're never going to have to deal with love? I'm never going to know what it feels like, he says. How does he know that? Because it hurts. It shouldn't. Plus, I have a lot of deficiencies and not very many capacities. You know what? A lot of people do. <gasps> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Is 
there any blood? <laughs> any discoloration? No. Oh. Then I'm okay. <laughs> yes. You are. I'm so sorry I did that. It's just you're very sweet. But you have a boyfriend, and you love him very much. Yes, I do, and yes, I do. And you just kissed me. Yes, I did. And it's a Friday night, and you're doing your laundry. Yes, I am. And people who love each other, they don't kiss other people and do their laundry on Friday nights. I've learned this. People who love each other, they go to the moose patty on Friday nights, or they go dancing, or they go skating, and they kiss each other. They don't kiss other people. You know what? I don't think that's love, what you and your boyfriend have. You know what? I gotta go. He doesn't like it if Who? I'm... My boyfriend. Who you love very much? Yes. Even though you kissed me? Yes. I'm gonna have to talk to my brother Paul about this. No! <laughs> Do not talk to your brother Paul about this! Tell him to stop teaching you. What? Whatever he's teaching you, tell him to stop. What he's teaching you, it's hurting your art. But I have to learn from him. Listen, I was gonna be a nurse, so I know. <laughs> you need to go to a doctor, Stop having your brother read whatever it is he reads. But you know what? I gotta go. Right. You gotta go. You, you're leaving. It's okay. Th that's what people do. It's fine. No, it's not that. It's just he doesn't like it if I. Who? Your boyfriend? Yes. He doesn't like it if I'm down here longer than I said I'd be, and I've been down here longer than I said I'd be. That's a lot. Yeah. Whole lot. Yeah. Wow. What the heck am I going to do with all this? I mean, 
I don't know if I will. Well, I guess you'll just have to find a place for it then, won't you? And now I think it's only fair if you give me mine back. Because I want it back. All the love I gave you? Yeah. I want it back. So go get it. Lendl, go get it. Please. Now! Okay. all the love you gave me. That's, that is not, there is no way that that's, that's not, is that all the love I gave you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why don't you open it and, hey, hey, what's going on? I told you we're done. Why do you keep saying that? Because. Because when I asked you if you ever thought we were going to get married, remember when I asked you that? In December, it was snowing. Yeah. Yeah, well, when I asked you that, you got so quiet. And everyone said right there that should have told me everything. Everybody who? Everybody. Who? Marvelin said. Marvelin? Yes, Marvelin. Marvelin yes, said Marvelin that. Yes, Marvelin said that how quiet you got was all I needed to know. And she's right. You don't love me. What, Gail? Shh. No. And I've tried to fix that. I've tried to make you love me by giving you every bit of love I have. And now I don't have any love left for me. And that's not good for a person. So that's why I want all the love I gave you back. Because I want to bring it with me. Where are you going? I need to get away from things. What, what things? There aren't any things in this town to get away from. Yes, there are. You. Me? Yes, you are the things in this town I need to get away from. So that's why I want all the love I gave you back. In case I need it. Because I can't very well go around getting your love, because that's all I have right now is the love you gave me. And I can't very well go around getting your love to other guys. Other so guys? There are right. other guys? No, not yet, but I'm assuming there will be. <laughs> Gail. So I think that now I know that you're not ready to do what comes next for people who have been together for quite a long time. I think we're going to be done. Why, so Gail? I think the best thing we can do now is Oh, Jesus, bro, was that really all the love I gave you? I mean, I thought, I, I mean, what kind of a person am I if that's all the love I gave you? I, no, 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 I know I gave you more than that, Lendl. Did you lose it? What? Did no. You lose it? Hell no. Because I know I gave you more than that. And I think you're trying to pull something on me. And now is not the time to be trying to pull something on me. I'm not pulling something on you. I wouldn't do that to you. Just, I think, gosh, I think maybe you should just take what you came for and I guess I'll see you later. Right there, Gail. This it's right there. This is not. It is. That's it. Right there. There was so much of it. You gave me so much over the years. Eleven. Over the eleven, 11 years. Yeah. yeah. 
You gave me so much of it that I didn't know what to do with it all. I had to put some in the garage, some in the shed. And after you asked me if I thought we were ever going to get married, there was more of it than ever coming in. And I asked my dad if he had any suggestions what to do with it all. And he said, got a ring yet? And I said, no. And he said, get her one. It's time. When there's that much of that stuff coming in, that's about the only place you can put it. He said it all fit. And he was right. That thing is a lot bigger than it looks. So there it is. All the love you gave me, just not in the same form as when you gave it. Yeah. You still want it? Yes, I do. Well then. <laughs> Take it. Can I keep all that? It's yours. Yes, I did. It's way past time, and it's honorable. Well, it's beautiful. <sighs> Wendell, I'm sorry. It's just that I was at Sandrine's bachelorette party. I know. And she and Martin were getting married already, and that got me thinking about us. I know. And then I talked to Marlon, and she said... I'm just saying, it was bad, Chad. Bad. I hear you, but. No, you're not listening, Chad. It was bad. No, you're not listening, cuz. Real bad. I'm trying to tell you I had a pretty bad time myself, Randy. Really? Yeah. Okay, go. Well. She. She said she liked the way I smelled. What? Sally told me she didn't like the way I smelled. Never has. <laughs> Sally Dunleavy told you she didn't like the way you. Yeah. Oh, when? When I picked her up, she got in the truck, we're back in our driveway, and all of a sudden she starts <sighs> breathing hard and asked me to stop. She gets in this truck and says she was sorry, but she couldn't go out with me. She didn't like the way I smell. Never has. What? <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Told you. It's bad. I mean, not just bad, Chad. That's sad. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, I'm guessing I'm the big winner tonight, huh? So, uh, I get to pick tomorrow, and I pick bowling. We'll go bowling, dinner at the Snowmobile Club, a couple beers to Moose Patty, and just, uh, hang out. I didn't say you're the big winner. What? Did I say you're the big winner? No, but there's no, no way no, you no. can beat. Oh, that's pretty sad, Chad, and I'm bad. But you didn't win. What? You didn't win. You could beat being told you smelled bad? Yeah. <laughs> Well, My face broke. What? Her face broke. Her face? Yeah. Mm. Only get one chance with a girl like Yvonne LeBron. And her face broke. Told you it was bad. How'd that happen? 
Do you want me to dancing? Dancing? Yeah. Why were you dancing? Because that's what she wanted to do on our day. So I took her. Took her down to the rec center, you know? You pay, you get a lesson, and then you dance all night. <laughs> yeah. They teach together dancing. How to dance together. And well, they were teaching us that thing where you throw the girl up and over. And you bond. She's pretty small. And me. I'm pretty strong. So, I go to throw her up and over, and well, I throw her over, over. And she landed on her face. And it broke. I had to drive her to the emergency room. That's a drive. 38 miles. Yup. And she cried. I hate that. The whole way. Then, asked me to call her ex-boyfriend to come pick her up. He did. Asked me to please leave. He's as small as she is. <sighs> what? That's just pretty bad. Yup. And sad. Yup. So, uh, I guess you win. Yup. That right there might make you the biggest winner of all time. Yup. Fattest steak guy of all time. Yup. Congrats. Thank you. So, uh, what do you pick tomorrow? <sighs> Bowling, supper at the snowmobile club, Couple beers with the moose patty. Hang yeah. out. Good. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Bang another? Yeah. Thank you. I don't like it. I, I hate it, Randy. I hate it. I mean, why do I want to spend my Friday night with some girl I might maybe like when I could be spending it hanging out with someone I know I like, like you, you know? Yeah. I mean, that was rough tonight. The metal salad told me she liked the way I smelled. I got real sad because oh, buddy, there's got to be something in this world that makes you feel good or makes much sense to you or, or what's the point, right? Yeah. But then I kind of came out of being sad and scared. Because there is one thing in this world that does make me feel good or make sense to me. And it's you, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm just going to head out, yeah. you know. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. I'm just supervising with you and Lendl, so I can you know, pick your bait to have three or four or five. Well, six or seven. I don't know. Well, you just tell me. I don't me know. Hey, hey, hey! I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ray! Chad! Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. I just. Here. Whoa, what is that? I think I just fell. Well, I figured that. No, I think I just fell in love with you, Randy. <laughs> That was me falling in love with you. God, what are you doing? Man? No, cut that out. Quit it! I can't help it, Randy. I fall in love with you and. Chad, I don't quite know what you're going on about or what you're doing here, but what the heck is your problem? What the heck are you doing? Jesus, oh. bro, you're my best friend. Yeah. yeah! And that's something you don't mess with, and you mess with it. And you don't do that. <laughs> Did you know something? You're about the only thing in this world that feels good and right to me too. And now you go and dial it up by doing this. And he's telling me that. And now it just doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't feel good. Because you know something, buddy? You're about the only... There's a line with your friends that you don't cross. And you, you cross it.
just like you're mad. I'm not you mad. Were. I just you said are. I wish you paid more attention lately. I'm not mad. I was having fun. I thought I had fun tonight. Did you? Yeah. Good. I was late because Chad called me to the mill. I had to work. I need the hours. Phil, I'm not mad. You had to work. I did. I get it. Phil, where's my shoe? What? Where's my shoe? I can't find it. Well, it's gotta be here. Is this you being funny? No. Because it's not funny. I, it's cold out well, here. You're the one who wanted to go save it. Phil. We'll find it. It's got to be here. I'm not mad. I was never mad. I was disappointed. Mark. But now I'm done. I had fun tonight skating. I thought it would be fun. It was. Forget all this stuff. Get us away from the kids. Get us back to where we used to be. We went skating, first time you kissed me, on a Friday night just like this one. Right here, Echo Pond. I know where we are. Where the heck is your shoe? Maybe it's, maybe it's in the car. Did you, where did you take your skates off? Out here or in the car? It's just not really all that surprising what? that you didn't see it. What? The shooting star. Why? You don't pay attention, Phil. See, when you say things like that, I feel like you're still mad. I wasn't mad! Yes. Where is my shoe? Gosh, maybe it is in the car. It's not in the car. I mean, I'm not going to put one skate on here and the other in the car, but I guess that's the only other place it can be. But I changed out here with you, didn't I? Hedgehog Mountain? Uh-huh. Right there. Right above it. The bright one? Yeah. That one? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Phil? Yeah? That's a planet. <laughs> what? That's a planet. You're wishing That's on a, a planet? <laughs> yeah. And it's when you wish upon a star, not when you wish upon a planet I know, or a I know. How do you know? Set it on the weather, Phil. Saturn's the brightest object in the sky this month. It'll be sitting right above Hedgehog Mountain for the next couple of weeks. And they've been saying this on weather all week. Your wish is never going to come true if you're wishing on a planet. Well, you've got to pay attention. Why do you keep saying that? What? That I have to pay attention. Because you don't. What are you talking about? about? Phil, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. That's what I'm talking about. I... I knew you were mad. I'm not You're mad, Phil. Phil, I'm not mad! Phil, I'm I'm not mad. I'm sorry, okay? I know I miss things, but I have to work. I have to take a double when Chad needs me at the mill. He's helping me, us, out, you know, offering me the hours. I know, no, I know! No, no, no! Because me working is for us, 
you can't take so long sometimes that it stresses me out. Phil, I'm not mad about you working. You have to work. I understand that. What I don't understand is why I'm lonely. I got a husband and a couple of great kids, and I'm lonely. You just, you don't pay attention anymore. You go away, and I don't know where you go, but you go somewhere where you can't pay attention, and you forget Henry's first varsity hockey game, hockey and you forget Ray's game. birthday, and you forget your anniversary! I mean, I brought you out here hoping that you would remember us, but you didn't. And that makes me so mad. I don't know what to do anymore. You lie. What? You lie so bad. What? You're mad at me, but you don't tell me you're mad at me. Even when I ask you over and over. Because you don't know what to do. You don't know how to tell me how you feel about me. So I don't know where I am, where I stand. Maybe that's why I go away. So I can know where I am for a second. And you know what? It's lonely there too where I go. And you sent me there. You sent me there long before I did. Now all you do is lie. I don't lie. Yeah, I do. You say you're not mad, but you're mad. You say you had fun, but you didn't. You didn't have fun tonight, did you? No. But you kept saying you did. I didn't. I didn't have fun, Phil. I don't have fun with you anymore. Did you? No. I had a rotten lousy time. Well then, what are we doing here? What are we waiting for? Live here? I'm looking for Jada Harding. <coughs> looking for Jada Harding? Yeah, he lives here. I thought. But, uh, he doesn't, does he? 
Whew, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Just who is this woman? What is she doing here? <laughs> I was just so sure. <clears throat> do, do, do you know him? A big guy, big tall guy. Played basketball, all Eastern Maine center. Strong. Do you know him? Well, actually, I don't even answer that. I know that's a, it's a horrible question to ask someone who lives in a small town, as if everybody in a small town knows everybody else. I just, I don't live here anymore, but when I did, I always hated when people asked if I knew everybody in town just because it was small. It was even worse than when they'd ask if we had plumbing way up here, because, you know, people in small towns don't really know each other any better than they do in big towns. You know that? Anyways, I'm so sorry to have bothered you. I was just... When his parents passed away, he kept the house, I heard. He lived here. He stayed here. He was, like, one of the ones who stayed, you know? I didn't stay. I went away. Most people do. Yeah. And I guess he did, too. I, I never thought he would. Guess I just lost track. You really gotta hold on to people or you lose them. I wish there was something you could, you know, keep them in for when you need them. Like, um, like this. Oh, there he is! Perfect! <laughs> Boy, it's cold. I forgot. Yeah. I can't believe... I took a taxi here, from Bangor, to see him. That's far. Yeah. That's 163 miles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this place is a little further away from things than I remember. Why did you do that? <laughs> because I could only fly as close as Bangor, and I needed to get to him as fast as I could. Why? because I want to answer a question he asked me. Oh? Well, the last time I saw him, he asked me a very important question, and I didn't answer it, and that's just not a very nice thing to do to a person. Well, that's being a little hard to something. He asked me to marry him. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you? Didn't answer him. No. Yeah. So, um, that's why I'm here, to answer him. I'm afraid I doubt she's hoping to do this. Oh, come on. You give yourself too much credit. He was young. That's all you need to have your hopes down. Be young. And besides, I don't think you really dashed his hopes and dreams. Because if you dash somebody's hopes and dreams, that's kind of a nice way to do it. Because it hurts, but it's quick. If you had said no, that would have been dashing the smoke's ingredients. But you didn't say no. You said nothing. You just didn't answer him at all. And that's killing him in a long, slow, painful way. Because it's still there, just hanging on. Never really goes away. And that's kind of like giving somebody a little less air to breathe every day until they die. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. For what? I don't know. Goodbye, Hope. Goodbye. I'm so sorry to bother you. I was just, I was out there all alone in the world and I realized what I'd <laughs> Wait a minute. You called me Hope? How did you know my name? <laughs> Danny? <laughs> I, I didn't even rec- I, I mean, I didn't even rec- I didn't I even know. recognize you. You're I so I know. small. Yeah, I, uh, I lost a lot of hope, and that would be number on you. Danny, 
I'm so sorry I never came back. It's okay. Because, you know what? You're early. <laughs> what? You're early. You said you'd be back before the sun came up. And geez and crow, the sun barely set a couple hours ago. You're early. That's... Somebody asking for directions. It's awful late for directions. Yeah, uh, Suzette, listen. I'll be right in. So, Dave, what what do you got to do in here that you can do outside? Well, I got something uh, here for you. Here. What is it? It's it's it's. Boy, that was fun tonight, Rhonda. Yeah, what is <laughs> the twenty miles out there? Yeah. And beans and Frank's at the snowmobile club. Yeah. Twenty miles back. Couple of beers at the Moose Patty. Awesome. And boy, you flew in your new sled, man. It's a Polaris, man. I know, and you whooped my butt. That's what you get for riding an Arctic cat. You get your butt whooped. And I whooped it. I know. Whooped your butt. I know. Whooped it. I know. Whooped your butt, Arctic cat, man. <laughs> I'm not saying you didn't. You're not beating the Snowmobile Association Snowmobiler of the Year, you know. I know. That was fun. So, this is, um, well, we've been together now. But, together? Well. Together. What are you talking about, together? Well, we've been friends for quite a few years now. You getting all soft on me? And, 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 here. What are you doing here, bud? Open it. Together. <laughs> I don't know about this. Just open it. Well, 
I mean, thank you. There you go. Thanks. There you go. Thanks. That's what people say. There you go. You're welcome. So, Dave, didn't know you painted. Yeah, this is... I'm taking adult and arts at night. Um, Merle has them over at the high school teaching it. And this is one of my versions of one of those stare at it until you see the thing things. Ever seen one of these? Some of the old painters did it with dots. They called it dot elism or something. Anyways, I did it with a bunch of little blocks of colors. See? And if you just look at the little blocks of colors, it just looks like a bunch of little blocks of color. But if you step back and you stare at the whole thing, it's not just a bunch of little blocks of colors. It's a picture of something. Picture of what? Well, I'm not going to tell you. You have to figure it out. Oh, come on, Dave. No, it can take a little time. It can be a little frustrating. Well, why would you give me something that's going to frustrate? No, no, no. I just mean you got to not try to look for anything. That's what'll frustrate you. You gotta just kind of look at it so it doesn't know you're looking at it. <laughs> what are you talking about? You gotta trick it. You've got to trick it. You've got to... <sighs> trick it! <laughs> You've got to... Trick it! You've got to... Trick it! You've got to... One maka, two maka, three maka, rena, four maka, five maka, six maka, rena, seven maka, eight maka, nine maka, rena. Hey, trick it! <laughs> got to trick it! at night and just stare at it real casual like. I usually have a beer and talk to you on the phone. We'll do that. Where's your kitchen? I'll get you no, a buzz. No, 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 no. What? I'm out of bed. Only got natty light. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll get you a natty light. You can have your beer and no, you can talk no, to me. No. Why not? Come on. Go inside. No, no let's we go let's go let's this thing, right? See, I'm tripping. So people who've known each other for a long time do. I'm tripping. Come on, hey! Quit it. How many years I know you? I've come out here every Friday night. And I've never been inside your house for beers. It's not natural. It's unnatural, Rhonda. I don't care so what it is. So let's do what the you natural thing is. Right? And go right? inside. Hey! hey. You're doing it wrong! You've got to trick it! 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 Hey, okay. hey, hey! Okay, okay. I got something. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roadkill! What? Roadkill! Dead raccoon in the middle of the road! Well, no, that's not okay, what it is! Dead bloody deer! Dead bloody what? deer in the middle of the road! What? No, it's okay, not moose. a dead bloody dead deer bloody in the middle moose. of the road! Dead bloody moose! What? Of the road! Rhonda! No, that's not something I'd want to paint. Well, that's that's not even close no, to what it is. Don't get mad, Jesus I'm crow. You really don't see what it is. No. Well, can I give you a hint? Yes. What are you doing? What was that? Why did you do that? I was giving you a hint. You can't just do that to someone. And don't okay. ever do that to me again. Okay. Ever. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. And get out of here. Hey, 
Hey, Rhonda. What? You really are what they say. What? What do they say? That you're a little hung up there. Who says that? Everybody. Everybody who? Everybody, Rhonda. It's what people in town say. When? When they're talking. They say you're a little hung up there, and I gotta be a little patient there, and boy, they were right. Who says that? Suzette. Suzette? Ooh. Yeah, and Dan. Suzette and Dan Harding say that I'm a little hung up there and that you gotta be a little patient there? Yeah. Well, who else? Marcy. Marcy? Yeah, and Phil. Marcy and Phil. And, yeah, and Marvelin and Eric. And Marvelin? And, and, and Randy and Chad. Randy and, and, and Chad? And, 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 and Lendl and Gail and Jenny and Sandrine and whoever Sandrine is marrying. And <laughs> East. East. And that's just to name a few. Well, why would they? I love those guys. I'm good to those guys. Why would they say that stuff about me that's talking about me that's mean? No, I don't think they were being mean, Rhonda. I just, they were telling me to go for it with you because they like you and me, us. They're rooting for us, Rhonda. Who's rooting for us? Everybody. Lendl and Gail and Jimmy and Sandrine, everybody. Oh, they never told me that, that they're rooting for us. It's because I told them not to tell you. I, I, I wanted you to find out from me that I liked you and not from them. Just, I'm sorry if I made you mad when I kissed you. You right. can't just do that to someone. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I just I thought I thought you liked me the way I like you, and I. I do. You do. Yeah. Well, all right then. So can I? I don't know. never done it before. What do you mean? I won arm wrestling at every winter carnival fifth grade on. And I work in plywood at Bushy's Lumber Mill. I'm not what most men want to want. Well, where did you get that from? From everyone? Well, I gotta tell you, Rhonda, you got it all wrong. Because there's a lot of guys who think you're really pretty. No. Yeah. I mean, I do. Listen.
Your turn. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you want to know what comes next next? Yeah. How about we go inside and I'll show you. Could take all night, maybe longer. Well, wait, we're working tomorrow. First shift. Says who? You mean, yeah. call in? Yeah. We're calling in. Yeah. We're calling in. We're calling Chad, because you and me, we're not working first shift or any shift tomorrow. You get yourself inside there, Mr. Arthur Catman, and you show me what.
Please check us out on the way out and come see us for the prom in May. Thank you all.